state of West Virginia is known for its natural splendor. The expansive mountains, scenic winding roads, and charming towns make for a wonderful sight. But the emergence of a tight-knit craft beer community is brewing up yet another great reason to visit. In fact, why not do both? West Virginia is home to 15 craft breweries with more on the way. Thanks to a talented network of brewers, it's easy to find a well-crafted beer in nearly every corner of the state. From nano breweries to old school brew pubs and a couple impressive production facilities, we toured the entire state discovering West Virginia craft beer. Our trip begins in Maxwellton at Greenbrier Valley Brewing Company. A relatively new addition to West Virginia's beer scene, this production facility is operating full speed ahead with the help of their head brewer, Brian Rymiller. My name is Brian Rymiller. I'm with Greenbrier Valley Brewing Company and we are located in Max Welton, West Virginia, and I'm the head brewer. West Virginia was ripe for more craft breweries, uh, like hoppy beers, hop forward beers, I think, and it's not just myself, the owners and uh, the, the staff, we all really like hops, so, uh, and I think our, our beers kind of reflect that. This year, I think we're looking at, we're on board to do 25 to 2600 barrels. So we're growing and we have some room to grow into this brewery. The day we visited, Rye Miller was kegging up a special brew with a little help from his friends. We took a typical style and blackened it. 300 yards that way is a bourbon distillery that makes, well, the world's best bourbon. We took some barrels from them and aged our uh, black saison in that for a year and a half. Be sure to check out Greenbrier's Wild and Wonderful series too, with three brews named after a few legendary West Virginia characters, including the mysterious Mothman and Devil Lance of Hatfield and McCoy legend. From Max Welton, it was off to Fayetteville to catch up with the two-man team behind Bridge Brew Works. My name is uh, Nathan Harold. I'm one of the co-owners and brewers here at Bridge Brew Works here in Fayetteville, West Virginia. We've been in business since uh, 2010, so we're going on our seventh year. It's just myself and uh, my business partner, Ken Lynch. I'd met Nate while he was working at the brewery in Morgantown and we hit it off and had similar ideas about what we were wanting to do and no one was doing anything in the southern part of the state so we, we thought we would uh, uh, take a crack at it. When we started back in 2010 there was probably 1400 breweries in the country total and now uh, we're sitting here in 2016 with total of, um, I think it just toppled close to 4,300 breweries. These two have been doing their part to move West Virginia's beer scene forward since 2010 with one simple philosophy. We always say that we brew what we want to drink. Up to date, we've probably brewed, you know, close to 40 different styles of beer. Um, we're kind of known for some of our Belgian styles, like our, our Three River Trippel and our Dunglen uh, Dubel. We started out also wanting to be a part of the craft beer revolution in West Virginia. And it seems they are. Find Bridge Brew Works beer in Fayetteville at their unofficial brew pub, the local and original Pies and Pints. Or take a trip to their tiny tap room for a cold pint and a growler to take home. Next, our travels took us to the capital city of Charleston, where we crossed paths with another rambling beer lover at Charleston Brewing Company. My name is Chris Camboris, and uh, I'm a brewer from Cleveland. We were looking for some good breweries to stop along the way. Charleston Brewery popped up on our map here, and we checked it out, and we don't regret it one bit. It truly is a testament to the fact that when you put quality into the beer and don't shy away from, from the style characteristics, that people will absolutely uh, come here to enjoy it. Looks like West Virginia beers got this out of towners vote. It was time for us to head north to visit one of the oldest brew pubs in the state. 